Well, the annual Consumer Electronics Show is underway in Las Vegas. It's a chance for many of the major technology companies to show off their latest gadgets. Luke Hopewell is a journalist for technology website ZDNet, and he joins us now from Sydney. Luke, you've been monitoring this uh, gadget fest from afar, and it looks as though smart TVs are the talk of that uh, festival in Las Vegas. Well, it's sort, of, uh, it's sort of smart everything at the moment that's going on in Las Vegas. It's the, uh, it's the festival of er, everything smarter, thinner, uh, more connected er, if you will. Uh, but, uh, but smart TVs are definitely coming into the fore. Um, we've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of voice recognition talk that's going on there as well, yeah. And uh, I was reading somewhere this morning about the development of a TV without remotes, basically uh, like voice recognition that uh, operates on the latest iPhone where you can tell a TV what you want to watch. How far is that going? Well, that's, that's, it's a very interesting concept. Natural voice recognition and, and sort of breaking down the barriers between how we use technology is something that a lot of people have been pursuing and they've been, they've been pursuing that uh, not just this CES but, but CES years past as well. Voice recognition, like you said, with the iPhone 4S has really uh, come into the spotlight at the moment. So, so smart TVs and, and, and sort of talking to your TV, if, if you will, uh, to, to control it is, is really something that's starting to take off. And the concept of internet, internet protocol TV essentially allowing you to surf the web on your TV while watching TV at the same time, that is something we're already seeing those sort of TVs on sale here in Australia. That is something that is going to take off over the next few years, it appears. Absolutely. I mean, putting, almost putting a web browser in everything, getting everything connected to the internet and getting everything uh, running with apps and, uh, and, and the infamous Angry Birds, if you will, mm. seems to be, uh, to be very popular at the moment. But, but sort of uh, uh, putting apps on everything and, and, and connecting it to the web is, is really big at the moment, making, it sort of, making the TV uh, sort of a convergent hub for, for not, just, not just television, but, but all sorts of information now. Um, and it goes beyond televisions as well. Microsoft did a big demonstration of its, uh, of its voice recognition on, on Xbox as well and trying to make that uh, the media hub of, of, of your life as well. Speaking of Microsoft, Steve Ballmer, the chief executive of Microsoft, had the honour of being the, the keynote speaker at that conference. I was looking at Twitter late yesterday and lots of people were panning his speech. It uh, was a bit of a fizzer. It's interesting with Microsoft because they've said that this is their last year at the Consumer Electronics Show. It's no animosity. It's simply because the Consumer Electronics Show doesn't really match up with how they announce things. It's a January schedule. It's after the, uh, the biggest shopping time of the year for Microsoft. And they don't really have anything to announce. They had a few small announcements, and, and there were a few weird presentations with a, a tweet choir, for example, which was very strange to watch. But... They, weren't, they didn't go into it saying that they were going to announce anything. And, and Steve Ballmer was just being his usual over-the-top self. So I think we got from Microsoft exactly what they, uh, they, came in to, uh, they came in to do. Well, Luke Herpwell, as always, thanks for making sense of the gadgetry world for us on ABC News Breakfast. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Michael.